Hello party people. It is finally time for us to go thrift store shopping. I'm at Goodwill right now. I plan on going to a local thrift store as well. I say local, but it's like an over an hour from where I am right now. It's like, anyway, it doesn't matter. If I have time, I will go there and maybe Salvation Army. All I know is right now I'm at Goodwill. So we're going to hop in and see all the cool things things they have who knows what they're gonna have that is like one thing that i really love about thrift store shopping is you never know what you're gonna find it's the thrill of the hunt i have been watching a lot of like thrift store flips you guys know i can't achieve any of that but my closet is looking pretty bare <laughs> so we're gonna hop inside let's see what we can find to document two things. One, my monochromatic outfit, so stylish. And two, this weather, joy. <laughs> Having flashbacks. Guys, can you believe the last time I was here was Halloween time? Unbelievable, look at all these pots. And plant stands, let's peek on a price or two. Ooh, $40, Goodwill, where am I? $45? Is this home goods or Goodwill? I love a good flamingo, $15 for two of them. That's a very Florida thing to see. And then they have a lot of like spring garden stuff over here. This is like, they call it a thrift and, wait, no, consignment and, well, I don't know. I'll throw it up on the screen. I forgot, I saw it on the way in. I'm on my way to the home decor because that's what I really want to highlight right now. But, oh my gosh, I'm blinded by all the clothes. This Gap Body Workout Tank, $5. Look what was behind it. Like, how can I leave this behind, you know? Look at this gem. This is still deciding if it wants to be a shirt or a dress. I'm sorry, I just blacked out. What happened? So now I'm in like the home decor kind of section. It's more over there. And then they have a hole, hole in the wall back there. But for now, look, they have all of these new like summer-ish items. They have this beach towel. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good beach towel. $5.39 for this brand new. I love this movie. My kids love it too. We were those characters one year for Halloween. I saw brand new chalk here for a dollar. Ooh, an inflatable vest. All right, so here, ooh, <laughs> Percy. I'm not really a purse gal, but it's Vera Bradley for $20. So a little steep if you ask me. To me, this one is just as cute. Oh my gosh, it's still $20, why? So I guess if you need a purse, uh, go to Salvation Army. Oh, is this all their like designer purses or something? Okay, I'm gone. That guy's bringing out a Ninja Turtle. Someone was like, I'll take it, how much is it? <laughs> they can't keep things in this store. All of this stuff looks brand new as well. Some car cleaning stuff. Flashlights I see, LED push lights. I love looking at their frame section. You can find really great deals if you dig. This is a great example. This is a massive frame. You don't necessarily have to keep the artwork inside of it. You can open it up and change it. But look, Kirkland's $60, Goodwill. $15. Look how massive this is. The frame is such good quality. I love the gold detail. It is $12, but it's purple tag, so it's half off. It would make such a statement piece in any room. Too bad I don't have any walls left in my house. Should I keep it for later? Another Kirkland's piece for $50. Here at Goodwill, it is $20. If you're thinking of shopping at Kirkland's, just come to Goodwill first. Oh my gosh, is that a white peacock? <gasps> That is so beautiful. And then the frame. Oh, wow. Love that. Okay, they also have a ton of coolers. Look at this, a whole stack of coolers over there. That's my favorite. Last time we were here, we saw a ton of chairs. These are $5 a piece. Wait, even the outdoor chairs? The outdoor chairs are eight. Same with these wicker chairs, they're $8. But this one over here, it is a metal chair for just $5. Ooh, brand spanking new artwork over here. And then home decor galore. All of that, brand new. A bedside table anywhere else would sell for $700. It's $15 here at Goodwill. Remember when I almost spent $50 on like an overnight bag from Target? This one's at Goodwill for 13, but it's purple tag, so it's half off. Even more home decor on this side of the aisle. Someone was shopping, so I couldn't get a view of it, but 
Oh, wowza. They have some DVDs for um, <laughs> like full price here. That's... Wait, what movie is this? Brad Pitt? Hi. Look at what I found. Mrs. Doubtfire, such a classic. Okay, $2, as it should be. Ooh, Matchstick Men, okay. This is a gem. A notebook, another gem. Gem. Now that I found my VHS player, maybe I should look through these VHSs. Oh wait, I just peeked. Julia Roberts, Mystic Pizza, gem. Harley's Angels, yes. The Man in the Iron Mask, gem. Mulan, I just sang this song to you guys, I love it. I have a bunch of baskets, it's kind of my downfall. I am exploring all of them. Oh my gosh, I see so much over there that I want to peek on. So many gems, you know? Okay, and then they have a lot of yarn and crafting stuff. This basket is cute too. How much is it? $4. Oh my gosh, at Michael's that would be $78.99. Oh, an Easter basket. Look at this wood basket I found, or bin, whatever. Four bucks. This is really boho. It would be cute on like an entry table to put your keys and stuff. There's no price on it, but I imagine it's no more than like four bucks. Just imagine how many picnics this basket has been on. Five dollars, that's it. What? Take a peek on this floral arrangement at Michael's again, 69.95, 40% off here at Goodwill. It's nine bucks. There's even more baskets up here. Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? A basket with a lid? Wait, what is this? Oh no, a tissue. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's so fun thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. Some more yarn. Anything else we see that's worth our attention right now? Oh, a bucket of sand toys. All right, let's move on. Hold on, a gem. Okay, new aisle. It's cooking ware. And I see some water bottles, a lot of platters down there some bases. Oh, this is like plastics, I guess, plastic section. They have a nice hurricane base right there. Ooh, look at that rooster. Kaka doodle doo. What else do we see? We have some kitchen utensils. Oh my gosh, I see milk glass right there in the corner. Cool. Another gem. We've made it to the knickknacks. Oh, sometimes this is my favorite part. Look at this, a juicer, not a juicer. You guys know what I mean. It's just $2. They have some really nice vases. Is this stoneware for $2, this is really nice. They have that really nice pillar in the back. And I like to look at the mugs to see if I can find anything, you know, that I can use as a planter. Like that'd be a cute planter for a little succulent. Oh my gosh gem wait look at this oh i thought this was like a mini mixing bowl some more cool things to look at over here that mini picture frame i love a good mini picture frame is this humpty dumpty like what you would not be able to find this in a normal store oh look no price oh i almost looked straight over this guy a turkey <gasps> does he need to come home with me three dollars are you kidding me right now gem i love that they left the baby photo in there <laughs> Lots of dolphin figurines right here. Someone must have been really into dolphins. Look at these, like nice statement pieces. Reasonable prices, that one is nine and 14. And this one is five. What, and there's two of them. You can clean those up, spray paint them. So many possibilities to make them look so much better. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do that, but maybe you're totally capable. Look at these owls. Oh, they're so in love. What else do we see? Lots of glass bottles, vases. Ooh, more dolphins right there. That's nice. This candle holder, $7. I wonder what that baby says. Hold on, I'm gonna peek on it. I love you this much. Oh, that's it. <laughs> this is why I love thrift stores. <laughs> Look at these cool candles. A Crayola candle. Man, that's so fun. You wouldn't be able to find that at Target. Oh, look at this one. This candle holder, $2. Look what I found, a vintage Yankee candle. This is ceramic. Oh my God, $2. Is this before or after they sold candles for $80? Who knows? Found a nice little candle section and then more vases up there. Ooh, that's nice back there. Uh, okay, I think we're ready for the next aisle. Wait, what is this? The, um, the stone, oh gosh. Oh, I immediately regret touching that. I thought it was like the Willow Creek brand. It's not. <laughs> Look, a sewing machine right there. They have a bunch of crock pots, coffee makers. He just put down an air fryer. Is that an air fryer? Let's peek. <laughs> 
Ten dollars. Is this an air fryer, guys? Should I get it? I don't know. Oh, look at that boom box. I kind of want that more than the air fryer. They have toaster ovens. Look at that vintage crock pot. So cool. Kettles. Oh my goodness, look at all the lamps. Oh, a whole stinking row of lamps. Why did I ever go to Hobby Lob? So someone needs to tear me away from the crock pots. I have plenty. Look at this vintage mixer, $3. Want it. I don't know what that is, but it looks fun. Oh my gosh, this is my first vlogging camera. Almost $2? Come on, Goodwill. You're worth more than that. Is it sad I just kind of want to buy it for my camera graveyard? Ooh, blenders. Ooh, look at this pink one. I don't know what this is either, but it's cute. Ooh, irons? No, thank you. I wonder if they have a steam machine. <gasps> karaoke? A karaoke machine? Seven dollars. <gasps> That's enticing. Look at all these boom boxes. We could drop the beat at any moment's notice. I was not expecting to see power tools here. <gasps> I wonder if they have, I wonder if they have more. I wonder if they have a drill. Wait, they have VHS players here. Ooh, how much are they going for? 10 bucks, whoa. That is, uh, yeah, they should cut that in half. <laughs> More lamps, oh my gosh, a unicorn lamp. I have to look at that once she moves. Ooh, I hope she doesn't take it. So next time I need a lampshade, I'm definitely coming here. Look how nice those are. These two, look how detailed that one is, $3. Uh, what? Creepy or cute? I mean, I think you guys know what I feel. Look, she's missing a sock, just like my kids. Okay, really cool stuff over here. This is what caught my eye. What is happening? What is this? Six dollars. What is this for real? <laughs> what are you gonna heat up in there? Like a single portion of dip? Oh, that's cracking me up. All right, all right. Ooh, look at that raccoon. Uh, do we see anything? A lot of plates. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's come to this side of the aisle. Ooh, look at that crab, like tart warmer. I love little bears like that. They remind me of my grandma so much, but going back to the plates and stuff, why does anyone buy new plates ever? Maybe because there's not like a solid dish set here, but I would totally use, I mean, I do use mismatched plates, <laughs> probably because mine are secondhand. Look at this popcorn bowl too. Someone needs to talk me out of this. My kids, it's ceramic. My kids are gonna break it, but we have been having a lot of popcorn lately. Talk me out of it for real. Oh, look at these. They're like food prep bowls. Do you think I would actually use them and look like a professed chef? Ooh, $7. It's probably a great price, but I'll leave them for someone who is actually going to use them. Look at that vase, so beautiful. A few honorable mention pieces. That one's really sweet. I really like the shape of that vase and I saw someone do a DIY where she used like baking soda and paint to make it look like stone and it came out so nice. Look, we have these bowls at home. I'm missing some, I should buy it. What else did I see over here? I've totally forgotten now. Oh, okay, this little dish set I thought would be so cute if you're the type of person to take your jewelry off at night. Store <gasps> Is this a matching dish set? Oh my gosh, hold on. $2 a plate. B and Willow. Oh, I think I need to get them. I also love the blue and white plates and dishes and stuff. It just looks so classic to me. Look at these salad bowls too. Nice. Ooh, look at that. That's really sweet. They have a couple nice floral arrangements. I think they're around $6 and then that one may have been seven or eight. Okay, some more knickknacks up top, but there are plates and bowls and dishes, all kinds of dishes and bowls. You got, I don't see anything less than $1.18. Some things are overpriced, like this dish, $6. I mean, better than the price at Home Goods, but still not like a screaming deal, you know what I mean? But the items that you may not find elsewhere, like the unique items, like this, $3 for the pack of three. What? I just think it's so fun. You never know what you're gonna find. A purple clock, a purple pineapple. Like, where else can you buy this? Ooh, six dollars. Well, it's novelty. How on earth could I skip over this mixing bowl with a pour spout? Seven dollars, it's so heavy. <laughs> Look, more pineapple collection. A dollar 18 for that one, you guys. Look, another clock over here. Oh, there's just so many gems, a gravy boat. Ooh, look at that platter. It's a divided platter, more salad bowls, a ton of uh, glassware down here. 
Ooh, ooh, an eight by 10. Eight by eight dish, $3. I think that's cheaper than Ikea. Look how pretty that is. Is this stoneware? So nice. Even more frames over here. They're uh, smaller frames. I mean, they still have super large ones on the bottom, but a lot of smaller specialty frames up top here. Oh, hold on. Let me switch this to fisheye so you can get the entire aisle top to bottom. Look at that cactus. What does it hold? Is this a paper towel holder? Oh my gosh, it's half off, $1.50. What a gem. All right, what else have we got down here? A treasure box for just $3. Oh, jewelry box, that's special. Is this brass? Some kind of metal, $6 for the big one. I know a lot of people come to uh, Goodwill and consignment stores for items like that. Moving on, you don't wanna miss a thing, right? and you don't want to miss a thing. I figured you wouldn't want to. Those flowers almost look real. All right, do you see anything else? I see, ooh, candle holders, candle opera. Those are nice, those are expensive. I have art pieces down here. Let me pull this top one out. Ooh, nice. Pull this one. Ah. I have almost forgot about their shoe section. This is the men's shoe aisle. Definitely not as many as the women's, but they look so nice. Oh, except for that one has a hole, of course. But the rest of them, right? Look at these. Those look nice. Guess that price. 13 bucks, bargain. I'm gonna sift through the men's clothes, see if I can find something for Alex. Uh, but I wanted to share with you all of the hats they have as well. Pretty cool. Shove them in a bag when you get home, make sure there's no bugs. And, oh my gosh, just off the corner of my eye, look at all these backpacks and gym bags. Look, it has unicorns, sequins. Oh my flamingo. $7 for a backpack. That is pretty cool. Oh, they have a matching purse for five. Is this screaming my name or what? Oh, they also have lunch boxes here. Very cool. Okay, so original price is 15, Goodwill has it for six. So this must be the stuff that um, is quality because it is behind glass. Look at that stoneware. It's only $20, a three quart. And then uh, Jim Shore figurine, sweet tooth, what? Ooh, she is beautiful. And then that conch shell, man, that's cool. Oh, some milk glass down here. I know some people are really into that. Some more specialty items beyond the glass, not to be touched. Oh, look at those Hess trucks. I didn't know that was still a thing. My sister used to collect those when we were younger. I wonder if she still has hers. Wait, is that what I think it is? The bottom is red. I'm in the sweater section now. Lord help me. I live in Florida and don't need a single sweater but here I am. Oh my gosh. How can I give up this cardigan? Oh, it's not my size. I could make it my size. <laughs> well, this is for a very specific buyer. Most adults wear like matching pajama sets, but this is more my style. I love how the tags say lingerie. <laughs> Don't you just hate when you find something you love, but it's not in your size? Look how pretty this is. I could wear it for Easter. Now I'm in the skirt section. Looks like they have a lot of sheet sets up there too. And ooh, a whole wall of dresses. So I'm gonna get lost in this for about 20 minutes. Sift through real quick. That's my style. All those ornate dresses, prom, homecoming. Oh my gosh, are people having them now? Probably not. All right, I digress. Weddings, meh, people are still having weddings. Look at all of these bags. I'm gonna hunt for the perfect granny bag because last time I was at Salvation Army, I did not buy it and I go to bed dreaming about it. So wish me luck. Look at this cute mini backpack. It is $5. That is a screaming deal. Way better than the Vera Bradley price. Oh my gosh, guess that price. Six bucks, worth it. Could this be it? Too bad it's not crossbody. I like it, $5. Look at this pea coat. It is new with tags on. It's from Loft, $80. Okay, they got it on sale. I see the sticker residue. Can't fool us. $13 here at Goodwill. $13 is a scream and deal. Oh, I love that. 
Love that. Love that. This is like Kim's section, except for I don't wear jackets. So there's a downfall. Oh my word, look at all of these sandals. Brand new. But right now I'm looking at dresses or starting to. What do you think of this one? Can I wear it to Easter? Look at the bottom, it's so fancy. I love everything about this. $6, what a deal. Now that I have a cart full of clothes, I'm going to shop the shoes. Oh my, what a gem. I think they organize by size. I'm gonna have to double check. I normally just scan through anyway because people move things. If I see a shoe that I like, I just try it on. These are super cute. They are sadly seven and a half, but they're only $8. Look how nice those are. Barely worn. Maybe I can squeeze my foot in a seven and a half. It's like Cinderella over here. <laughs> I'll let you shop this shoe shit section. Gosh, that's so hard. I'll let you shop the suit. Shoot, I still can't say it. I'll let you shop the shoe section with me. Finally got it out. Shoe section, shoe section, shoe section, shoe section, shoe. It's, that's a tough one. Sadly, these are a size seven and a half as well, but they're only $6. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, so now I don't think the shoes are in size order. Look at these. Oh my gosh, these are so 70s. They're my size. My Oma wears Clarks like this. They're just like, oh, what's that one brand that everyone's wearing? Oh, Birkenstocks, they're, they're her original shoe. Uh, but I guess these are less expensive. They have sneakers up here. I see Nikes over there. A lot of high heeled shoes. A lot of nice ones for you. Uh, not my kind of thing. Are people going out these days? Are the clubs open? <laughs> I don't think so. <gasps> Ooh, flats. This is my jam. Seven bucks, Old Navy. Oh, they're a size 10. Sad day in my life. This is so cute. I'm in the shirt section now. It's not my size, but someone just shoved it here. So adorable. Um, I've been in here for seven years, I think. So I need to start wrapping it up. That's so cute. Oh, it's Loft. I have found that I love pretty much everything from Loft and it's new with tags. Is this a joke? Okay, so this one is Express. I was like, oh yeah, that one's cute. I don't think I'm gonna buy uh, spaghetti straps like this for me anymore. I don't know, it's a problem. So $7, you think, oh, okay, it's Express, brand new with tags. Uh. I just took the journey down the shorts section. Uh, easier to say than shoe section. <laughs> but I found, um, I didn't pick any. I almost got these. I feel like these are a diamond in the rough. I don't know if they're gonna look good on me because they're not like high-waisted, you know? And I kind of am loving the mom jean. That's my thing. Keeps everything in, you know? What a gem. Another gem? A gem. Gem. A gem. A gem. Total gem. A gem. A gem. A gem. This dressing room is too small for a fashion show, but I'm gonna try on all these clothes. Plus all those clothes. Plus all those clothes. <laughs> So this is why I wear all black. When I, you try stuff on, black goes good with any bottom. And I found this, isn't this so cute? It's a jean skirt. It's my size, what? And it's a purple tag, which means it's half off. I almost didn't try this skirt on because it is two sizes bigger than I am. But I just tried this skirt on and it is my size. Wait, no, it's not, it's a size 12. What in kids? It was like sausage casing. So what size is this? This is a size 12. It's, it's much more flowy and nice, which is what I like in a skirt. A little see-through, but I always wear like flesh colored shorts with skirts. I don't know, I think this is cute. It's like bohemian vibe, right? <laughs> I couldn't leave you guys hanging. I had to show you this skirt, this dress while it was on. Uh, apparently I am not a small. My gosh, so exposed, but cute nonetheless. So this was a small and didn't fit. This is a size two from J. Crew. Uh, <laughs> should probably wear flesh colored undergarments as well. So cute. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it is cute. It's a little tight. I can just go home with this right now and be happy. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It gives me such, I don't know, certain vibes. I don't love the like bare shoulder look, but I love how flowy this is. I love the print of it. I don't know, it's just super cute. Am I wrong or am I wrong? I should have said right, am I right? 
Yeah, Kim, should I get this? Like, let's be real, where am I gonna wear it? I don't know, maybe I'll wear it tomorrow, okay? Uh, this is a prime example, just because it zips doesn't mean it fits. It's like puckering everywhere. Uh, and I don't understand the tie of this. And then somehow the top is still big. <laughs> I'm your fire, your desire. Soundtrack at Goodwill is popping. Um, crop tops, like this is how I feel. Cute on the hanger, not so much on me. So I've decided if it doesn't make me feel as good as that dress makes me feel, it's a no. I love the button detail, but it's like see-through and I feel like this in it, like this. I know what you're thinking. How on earth can this one still be available? I mean, come on. Unfortunately, it's just a schmidgen too big. That's how it feels. It's like slouchy, but I kind of like the slouchiness of it. Let me do the tuck. Just as nice. <laughs> this is what you all have all been waiting for. I know you've been waiting for me to try this little number on. I mean, how can I come home without this? You know what I mean? I don't think I can. <laughs> I think it was made for me. You know what I mean? Let's do a little tuck. Makes everything better. <laughs> this is how I feel. It's a sad, sad day. Uh, it is a size or two bigger than the one I tried on at Salvation Army a while ago. I'm trying to like shove it in the back to try to make it fit. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, it is J. Crew though, so I am gonna look it up and see if I can, if they still sell it. It's a beautiful color. Lighting doesn't do it any favors. Rounding things off here at the kids section. Hold up, hold up. Full figure. Okay, they have a full figure section. Ooh, a gem. Oh my gosh, a clueless bag. Have you seen the meme? It's like, how can they have, send people to space and the moon but not have the clueless closet yet? Woo! Okay, I had to go on a wild goose chase for that. This is the kids section. Look at those leopard uh, rain boots up there. They have swimwear for the kiddos, a bunch of shoes in that bin, all right. And then they have toys. Oh, uh, what? Okay, maybe I should peek on that. Ooh, stuffed animals. I don't know about that. But look at this toy section. Ball toss game. That fire truck? I am running out of time. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, $2 for this cute little 12 month shirt. What, a Batman for $2? Okay, okay. So, um, I guess I should, ooh wait, did I see Flamenco? Did I see a flamingo? Yes, I did, indeed. Two dollars for a baby. All right, guys, I saw a flamingo shirt, left it, and then someone else found it and a family was talking about it. It was like in a whole different part of the store. I don't know, it was serendipitous and I was just happy that the shirt was going to a good home, you know? <laughs> okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't think I'm in the right size for Meredith or Wentworth. Ooh, I wonder if they have pants. Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna look at the pants. Oh, bigger fire truck. Oh my goodness, a proper Moana skirt. Five dollars. This would have been amazing for a Halloween costume. I had to make their own Halloween costumes and we were uh, characters from that movie. Oh, flamingos again. That's Florida life for you. A, l a bunch of shorts for the kiddos. I should probably bring the girls around here. Tablecloth, they have a bunch of linens. And then back down that way, they have blankets, brand spanking new socks, 250 for these, nice. That bench, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <gasps> look how cute. Guess that price. Oh, it, it might be spoken for. I know they put like tags on it and if you want it, you just yank the tag off. Oh my word, this is darling. Look, they have this radio flyer. Oh my gosh, if this radio flyer is $13, I seriously, <gasps> look, I found it. I found the prize. Yes, that prize, $13 for the bun. What is he, a bunny with a bandana? I don't even know what he is, a dog with long ears. He is adorable and $13, literally, you cannot beat that price. Amazon, I bet you, 100. All right, I'm really excited about that. I see a little horse there. Why am I out of breath <laughs> about that? Um, okay, okay. What else do I see that is worth mentioning? Yahtzee? Yes, please. Oh, do you want to know the price of the dusty old fire truck? 
I'm not gonna touch it, but look, $6 for that Batman thing. If I touch all that dust, my allergies are just, I'm just gonna start sneezing all over the place. Oh, look at this, $3 for that. Cool. Okay, Jumanji, USA Trivia. We just donated that. I wonder if it came here already. Oh, wait, missed out on these. So they've got scooters, these ride-on things. This is $6. That bicycle is $5. How much is this radio flyer? $3. They have a bunch of walkers over here. You guys, this is like solid wood walker. Guess how much? Six stinking dollars. You can even carry around all of their favorite toys with them. Wow, that's incredible. They have a bunch of rugs here, so they must get a bunch of new items because this is all the same. I don't actually don't know if this is a rug. See, okay, yeah, scatter rug, three, four dollars for that. This one giving me like boho vibes. It's folded in half, so you can imagine how big it is. And that one is $5. And this area rug is 20 by 32 inches and $5. Look how fun that is. That would be great in a bathroom. Look, there's tassels on the bottom. What else do we see? More rugs. Oh, we're into the blankets now. Okay, okay, comforters. I think if you just wash these on high heat, maybe keep them in a bag for a few days and you'll be good to go. I know a lot of people don't purchase certain things. Oh, a sleeping bag with a pouch. Uh, I know a lot of people don't purchase certain things from thrift stores because they're worried about, you know, bugs and stuff, but that is so fun. Like someone made that with their hands. Well, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I saw a blanket earlier. I should have grabbed it. Oh man, it was, the perfect thrift store blanket. Well, someone is happy. Someone's going home with it and I hope they're happy. I thought this was a pillowcase. I was gonna grab it because I need a pillowcase. It is a sheet. Look how stinking cute this is. Obviously the print is upside down, but look at this lady oh, out in the wilderness, living her best life. Uh, if you had to guess that price, would you guess $3? Because that's how much it is for a sheet, a flat sheet. And then they have ninja stinking turtles. Purple, nice purple color right there. Ooh, this feels nice. Ooh, oh my gosh, a curtain. Look, double panel. Okay, I wonder if they sell pillowcases. Wait, is that what's on this side? What is this? This is calling my name. Ooh, I love this print. <gasps> I wonder if it's a king size. I would totally put that on my bed. Look, the matching set. <gasps> and it's purple. No one bought it. It's half off. $3. Oh my gosh, I gotta figure out the size. They have these brand new 14-piece bath rug set. So what comes in it? 14 pieces. A rug, a curtain, and hooks. Oh, well. I found the pillowcases, and you know how most people nowadays are going for like all neutral or I don't know the traditional stuff oh look Iron Man Wentworth would like that oh that one's only a dollar uh, it looks a little worn anyway I am totally the opposite of that I want like what your grandma had passed down from her grandma you know what they slept on but I don't want it to be worn <laughs> I don't want it to be brand new Oh, that's funny. Okay, I think we've gotten out of the pillowcases now. Ooh, look at that. What, wait, what is this even? I don't know. Avelina might like this. It's a dollar. They have a t bunch of table mats over here. Those are calling my name. These are really pretty too. Oh my goodness, for springtime, if you're the kind of person who changes up your table mats. We're not. You know what? Should I look? I don't like our table mats. I'm trying to peek on the price. Ours are all red. $6 for a set of four. Ours are all red and I just, ugh. Ooh, maybe I can make a pillowcase out of some placemats. I never will. I literally never will. All right, give you a peek on this side. Ooh, these are nice and round <laughs> and yellow. <laughs> I'm so descriptive. Now these are the kind of placemats that are calling my name. I wonder if they're all the same. A set of four for $3. Yes, they all look the same. The problem is we need a set of at least six. Otherwise we'll just have like mismatch. I mean, we always have mismatched everything. <gasps> you know what you could do? Frame that. I mean, it's not that pretty. <laughs> this one's cute too. All right, at this point, I don't even know what time it is. Is it still light outside? Barely. You know what I was kind of upset about? What I was, what I am kind of upset about. I thought 
I was going to find some kind of wolf sweater or sweatshirt, even in the men's section, uh, but they don't have that. I feel like, uh oh, I feel like that's more something that they have at Salvation Army, you know, like those weird items. So I feel like that store is more for me. I was just on the phone with Alex selling these shirts like a salesman. Uh, he didn't want any of them. What? Look how nice these shirts are. And they're a decent price, $5. I was like, come on, Alex, these are nice, like good quality. Uh, you know what he needs to do is go through his shirts, he said. He's like, I have a shirt just like that. I was like, yeah, but it's worn and, you know, the button's broken or whatever. But anyway, there's that. I thought I would show you the shirts I picked out for him, but am not getting. Most of them are $5. I mean, look at this one. American Eagle looks nice. Quality. Love the color. Very spring. $5. Are you kidding me? Should I get this sweater to complete my granny vibes? Look how sweet that is. It could be my Valentine's Day sweater. Look at this I just ran into. Oh my gosh, purple. So today it's half off, $2.50. This would complete my 70s wild child vibes. I'm kind of digging it real hard. Um, they also sell food for snacking, a good moon pie. Ooh, banana flavored, is that a thing? Razzles. Oh my gosh, that brings me back to the movie 13 going on 30. They all, I mean, the best movie ever made, am I right? So many treats to like snack on on your way home. Then I saw Goodwill, reusable bag. Oh, how much is this? Like, do I need this in my life? 99 cents? Oh, it's ripped. <laughs> It was a very productive trip. Thank you, Goodwill, for all of the joy that you have brought to my life. Look at that sky. All right, let me load it up. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and shopping with me. If I have time to go to another store, I guess I would have shown you that. Otherwise, now is goodbye. I will share a haul with you eventually because I got some really cool gems. Got some really cool stuff in there. I know you guys are interested to see. At least I am always interested to see. Anyway, thank you so much for shopping with me. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.